This video will show you how to add the staff name onto the report uh, Massachusetts FP6 form to show the rank, first name, middle name, and last name of the person who issued a report. First thing we need to do is go to the properties of the query and we're going to see that the staff main table is not in there. Basically the permit has the issued by staff ID but it doesn't have all the individual name elements. So we're going to come down to staff we're going to add the staff member table in. We're going to go to the join table and down here we're going to look and what we need to link up is the staff ID of who issued it. So we're going to come down here to issued by and we're going to correlate that with the staff ID of the person. So now anytime I look for any staff member fields it'll go back to the person who issued it. We'll go back to our fields table and now when we bring in our staff fields we can bring in the rank, last name, first name, and we can just double click those and the middle name. We're going to click save and close and close. Now we're going to go into the layout of the report. And we're going to come down to the field that we were just talking about, which is the staff name field. In here is where we're going to put the expression that I had sent you originally. But let's just go ahead and put it in. It's going to be all trim. And now we can come right down here and double click our rank field. We're going to do a plus sign. And we're going to do an all trim in a proper case of the first name. Just in case they weren't typed in correctly, it'll all look good. And we'll do two closed parentheses. We're going to do plus another space, and there's a space in between the individual quotes. And then we're going to look to see whether or not we have a middle name, because I don't want an extra space if we do. So I'm going to go ahead and put in that if the middle name is empty, And I'm just going to do an open and close quote there so that nothing will print up. We've already put the space between the first name and the last name. But if there is a name in there, I put another comma. I want to do the left first character of the middle name. And then I want to put a period and a space. I'll end my if statement. And anytime here I can verify this to make sure my expression is still going well. And I'll go ahead and put my last name in. And at that point I will have the rank, first name, middle initial, a period if there's a middle name and my last name field. I can verify that again. Click OK and click OK and now that's what will print when you run your report. 